Hey YouTube, another uh, tool re review video from uh, the Timinator, the Tool Man. Uh, if uh, you like what I'm doing here and some of the videos I show, hit the subscribe button down below and, and hit the little bell, bell icon in, next to that and uh, you'll be uh, alerted if I post any new videos. Um, I do uh, property maintenance and stuff like that and uh, I've seen some other videos. This happens to be a five minute quick set mud um, and uh, used to just keep in the bucket and, um, and stuff would dry out and whatever and uh, get wet and all that. I wanted, wanted a way to keep my uh, uh, five and 20 minute mud. I generally just use five or 20 minute mud. Uh, don't really use the 45 minute mud that often, but I do have some but, um, and I keep it in one of these as well. I got these, this here, it's called a Gamma Lid. I got it from Lowe's. I think it was seven or eight bucks. Um, but it's pretty cool. I don't think, it, they, the claims that, that they're watertight or airtight, I don't, I don't, I've seen other videos where people said they're not and showed that they're not by, you know, water coming out of a bucket and stuff like that. And um, I don't really use it for that, in that aspect, but uh, I do, you know, carry mud and stuff with me. So, uh, I wanted something I could just e easily access rather than just trying to use a, a paint bucket lid. Um, so this one's pretty good. It's called, like I said, it's called the Gamma Lid and, uh, unscrews. It has a, um, a seal right here. And, uh, I watched another video where, uh, I don't know if you can see this line right here. Uh, some there was some extra material on here keeping the guy showed that there's extra material keeping uh, the seal from sitting all the way down here so I just took a pocket knife and cut it off also on mine I actually took uh, some petroleum jelly um, and just coated the o-ring um, all the way around can't really see it but it's on there um, took some petroleum jelly because of that reason and try to keep the O-ring as, as lubricated as possible without really doing it. People use these for uh, uh, food service you know, or, or prepping and stuff like that, food prepping and stuff like that. I don't have any problem with that. I don't personally do that, but um, again, like I said, I would suggest that um, since, you know, other people have proven that these aren't, uh, these lids aren't actually airtight uh, like they claim, but, um, you know, I did every, did everything in my power to keep as, the seal as good as possible. So there's another seal underneath this one. It snaps on the bucket and once they're on there, they're pretty hard to get off. Um, I don't intend on taking this one off. So it's, it's okay with me that it stays on there. And you can see, I keep my uh, five minute mud, um, in there and I still keep it in the bag. I probably could take it out of the bag, but I don't. Uh, just easier just to drop the bag in there and scoop out of there when I need it and uh, yeah uh, gamma lids are pretty good it's got a pretty good darn good seal um, I usually give it a little extra crank but uh, and then like I said suggested uh, you uh, take some petroleum jelly or something like that a silicone grease or something like that. Uh, petroleum jelly is probably the most easiest, easiest to buy, so uh, cheapest to buy. So hope that helps you. Uh, and they're, they're great for uh, what I use them for, for the dry mud. And you can also put paint supplies and stuff in there. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, something that needs to be uh, kept super dry or anything. So uh, hope you find this useful. And please hit subscribe and the bell icon and I'll post some other uh, some other tool videos.